Good afternoon and welcome to the 2022 PFDA Mixed Nationals live in Bacolod. It's been 980 days since the last Mixed National Champion was crowned. And today we have a match between Sunken Pleasure and Mulato. Sunken Pleasure, six-time national champs and Mulato, first-time appearance in the finals. I am Sadiq Palomares and joining me here today is Pingoy Bautista. Ping, what do you think about this matchup? He said, again, we've been blessed with watching two game, two days of non-stop ultimate action in Bacolod. 13 teams from all over the country converging on Provinciana fields. All right? It's an amazing game. We've been blessed. With, we've been able to see so many great games so far. I'm really excited for this classic David versus Goliath matchup between a six-time champion, Sunken Pleasure, versus a first-time champion. Uh, first-time uh, finals, finals, uh, appearance. Game, appearance, Mulato. So it's again, this is you know, Mulato is definitely a contender in the local Philippine ultimate scene, but this is their first experience to make their way into the finals of the national championships. So I'm very excited for them. It's been a long and grueling, uh, two years for this to actually happen, and they're finally here. Yeah, I've been looking at both of these teams. I mean, for day one, they both have the same behavior in terms of contribution. None of their players are in the top 20. I mean, of course, there's there's Antonio Francisco, there's um, Lala Cruz, who are in the top 30, top 40, but they don't rely. Both teams don't need to rely on just a handful of players to execute. Now, it's just going to be a matter of which style will prevail. Is it going to be the explosive and um, momentum-based play of Mulato or the, the very chemistry-fueled, structured play of Sunken Pleasure? We're about to find out. These are the players that we will see today between Sunken Pleasure and Mulato. Yeah, like what we were saying earlier, said like the great, you know, good distribution of the disc to all the players that are active on the field, regardless of who it is. There again, this is a star-studded lineup from both teams, but the distribution of the game of the, of the disc and the stats for each point is 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 a perfect balance. And um, you know, I'm very excited to see what both these teams have up in grabs for the next 90 minutes of this game. And again, thank you to Upstream Sports TV for this wonderful coverage. Uh, we have multiple camera angles and some replays to boot in this coverage. We have Sunken Pleasure here with their trademark huddled for the game. It's going to be one hell of a banger. Um, Sunken Pleasure, of course, always a treat to watch them on the field, but Mulato is is not one to count out they're very exciting they're very explosive and especially coming off that um run for a victory in the semi-finals i'm sure they're pumped i'm sure they're excited for their for this match i'm sure they're believing that they could get the gold in this match and that's that's exactly the type of challenger that sunken pleasure um will be facing here in this finals well, again, uh, going back again with a sunken pleasure, as we know, these men and women in orange are used to pressure. They've been six-time champions, said. Six times. And that's just in mixed division. <laughs> We're not talking about men. We're not talking about women's, you know. Majority yep. of this team is contingent for our mixed national team for Filipinas Ultimate that represented and brought home the gold in the AOU GCC back pre COVID pandemic situations. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this team is, you know, the embodiment of, you know, what Philippine ultimate players all around the country want to get to. This is everybody's been chasing this pony, has been chasing this unicorn for the longest time. Let's see if Bulato can bring it up to them and prevent them from bagging their seventh national championship. Seven championship. That, that, that sounds so sweet, especially out of like eight nationals. That's 
they have a lot of <laughs> breath and I, I don't even I don't even have words for it. I'm I, I can't even describe that feeling because it's not me. Yeah. <laughs> that's not us. We are just a bunch of titos commentating from the sideline remotely from this game. But it's definitely you know, if, gonna be a treat. Yeah. If you know your if you know your story if you know your movie jargon in the movie of Gladiator when Maximus Aurelius goes, Is there no one else? <laughs> Is there no one else? You know? So let's see if the bo- if the men and women from Davao can finally topple this behemoth, this orange behemoth, sunken pleasure. And then here we like see them lining movie, up. I'm, yep, yep. And just like that movie, I'm sure sometime in the middle of this game, you and I will be shouting, "Are you not entertained?" <laughs> because we're gonna see some bodies fly. We're gonna see some layouts, some bids, some grabs, a lot of crazy plays. It's a 90-minute match. Race to 15, and here we have Sunken Pleasure and Mulato lining up to start the game with some good vibes and some good spirit and mutual respect. One minute to game time. There's my good friend, Felix Sange. I've got my coffee on hand. Said, I'm ready for the final. <laughs> ready for you're ready for 90 minutes of action. Yep, sir. My coffee is still on the way, but there's plenty of time for it. Um, this is gonna be a long afternoon. So yeah, this game is going to be 90 minutes long and and both teams are going to be exhausting everything that they have for the gold medal. Now both teams have 27 players with 12 girls and 15 boys on both sides. So we're gonna see a lot of faces, a lot of rotation, especially at the start. But when things get rough, we're gonna see our all-stars come out. We're gonna see the likes of Christian Guerrero, Pau Peralta, Jordan Mirafiles, um, Nelson Canedo, Gerard Castor, and Antonio Francisco. Just the name. We're finally me. we're finally getting some comments on our YouTube stream. Oh, I love this. That's right. Thank you so much, Glenn Lopez from Upstream Sports TV, putting up these. Let's stuff. go, SB. So, <laughs> that again, if nanalo kayo. <laughs> again, going back to Gladiator experience, if you remember the opening scene of Gladiator at the Battle of Carthage, we've got this muddy terrain. <laughs> if we can blow that up, cameraman, zoom out, you can see how damaged this field is and how difficult it is to run. In this, in, on these fields, but again, these teams made it all the way. We are one minute. We're close to two minutes into this game, and we are. It looks like Duncan Blazer is starting on defense. Felix on get the ball. Joining him is Kingo, Lauren Liwana, Gwen Guevara, Jane Barkes. Irish Abida and the first last person I did not see. Here's the poll. Pull it out of bounds. We still do not know if they're gonna start on the side or they're calling brick. It looks like Bulantoy will be starting it from the side of the field. Cameraman, the disc is on the right side. This is on the right side. Yep, last person from Sanko Pesher is Oshantino, Antonio Francisco with this right now. Swings it, number 21. Shoots deep shot by Mulatoy. Let's go! Wow! 
What an amazing Number layout grab. Ten. Number 10 comes out strong with that bid. I believe that is Shannon Capate. Let's look at it again. Wow, I love this replays. I like I like it. This is the exact hype that we need to watch this finals matchup. What a way to start the game. I'd like to know the name of that really tall female player from Mulato. She is ridiculously tall. Starting on defense right now. For people in the stream, if anybody, you could... Yeah, yep. if you can help us. Who is this player? SP, is, SP with a chance to tie this game up. Paul Peralta with the disc, swings it back to the middle. Sends it deep. Successful to Lala Cruz with the goal. Of course, now one all. That was Gabi Rodil to Lala Cruz. And again, we see that trademark play from there where they get that power position from the middle of the field and they have that deadly mid range pass. And all of the teams have been having a hard time stopping. Let's see it once again. There's Pau Peralta finding Gabi Odil on the break side without he any hesitation, without any count of the fall. Shoots it deep to Lala Cruz. One all. And we've got 85 more minutes of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm I'm very, very happy and excited to see what happens here. Christian Guerrero, one of the veterans of SB, stepping on the field for the first time this game. On the D line. And he's going to be pulling Oh, we have an desk. answer. We have an answer. Ariana. De Quito. Somebody replied. Yeah, De Quito. Yeah. Ariana De Quito. Welcome to the Nationals, Mixed Nationals. Right, let's go bring it down. Yep. I believe there's a call on the field. I think it is a pick. Antonio Francisco, with the disc. all counters rising, finds Rael Kimantan. Gets the under, moving it swiftly. Here's Antonio Francisco. That's a bid. Oh, no good. Number 16, number 18 also was there to receive it. But in any case, it was turnover. Christian Guerrero now with the disc and sunken pressure with a chance to get the first break of the game. Bayo Martinez looking for options, gets the reset. This is back to Bear Martinez. Overthrows to Christian Guerrero. What a point this has been so far. Well, swings it to Antonio Francisco. Kimantan finds the under. To Antonio Francisco. Whoop. Holsters to pick. Blade throw! 
Do I go in for Tifa? It's good! What great patience by Pulatoy in that possession. Not forcing the, the forward pass. I do believe there is a call on the field. I think it's a traveling violation. So that is not yet a score, folks. Traveling is called, coming in on five. They reset it. Losing some yardage, but keeping possession. <laughs> Antonio Francisco has to lay out for it. There's contact in the process. Foul by Jordan Mirafiles. No contest. Disc remains in the hands of Antonio Francisco. And the disc seems to have been tackled a bit. We have to flatten out. Unfortunately, we'll enjoy directing traffic. Hammer! There it is, 2-1 in favor of our Cinderella in the story, Mulato. Up one. Always a bride's bait, but never the bride. Let's see if Mulato can, you know, tie the knot in this last game for the weekend. Again, Bulantoy with an amazing hammer throw into the end zone to his teammate. Who secures it and seals it with a kiss? <laughs> Jordan was, I, I, I'm not sure he was there, but it was a contested patch, but just good heads up. I think that was Miguel Ramos with a good bid to contest that. But And again, with amazing spirit enough. performed. Yeah, amazing spirit and great spirit shown by Miguel. He knew that he got beat and he congratulated his, his opponent right away. I don't know about you, Ping, but it's just 10 minutes into the game, but my heart is racing. I haven't even had my third third cup of coffee yet for the day, but I feel like I already have been so much thing, so much happening already, so much excitement and 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 crazy stuff happening in the first. I don't. I don't game. even. I don't even know why you would need out coffee in this situation, said because you know <laughs> adrenaline is right there. I know. Here, com here comes SP bringing the disc up again. Deep shot again. And just like that, SP ties it up to all. Goal by Mr. Pau Peralta. And assist by Gabi Rodil. Or more popularly known as Hey Girl. <laughs> again, there's that there's that mid-range throw again, that lethal and deadly mid-range throw that we're seeing. Here's a replay. Benoit gets the easy under. Bang. No hesitation. Sometimes it's just yeah. unfair. It's unfair. <laughs> it's like they make it look so simple. And the reason why yep. it's so simple is because of the all the work ethic and training that they put in. Multiple boot camps, you know. And just basic discipline and trust within this within their ranks. Score is now yep. two all. Nice boy! I remember one of the national team players. Jason Lopez saying before that if you practice something difficult enough, it won't be risky anymore. That throw for most players would have been a very risky throw with a very little margin of error. But this is something that Sunken Pleasure has mastered years on end. And we see it bearing fruit. Here's a throw from Antonio Francisco. Finds an open receiver in front of the end zone. Foul. Foul is called. No, Working in fraction by Osh Magsina. 
leads it to the oak to the break side. There's Brian once again. Two points to his name. Three two. Just in favor of just sharing, just yeah? sharing some statistics right now provided by Glenn Lopez, our producer from our headquarters in Quezon City. We have over 300 viewers on Facebook and 300 viewers on YouTube. So thank you so much for the cooperation of all the staff, uh, all of the players and spectators watching with not doing a live stream. The stream has become so much crisper and easier for us to broadcast. We thank everybody for their support and their cooperation. And again, thank you for the support for all the viewers. Please share this with the rest of the community. Here's another ultimate first the uh, ultimate warriors player Mr. BJ Levita saying let's go. Gab Mendoza who also played for Sunken Pleasure at one point in time. Binoy Which team though? To receive Which team it. said? <laughs> I think SP well he also played in SP Black after okay. Slex. Anyway, going back to the game. This is Pau Peralta on the side, gets the under to Gabi Rodil, there it is, nope, she holds it this time, swings it in the middle of the field, Pau Peralta, team captain of Sunken Pleasure, finds the under to Benoy. I think that's Jam Makaraeg on the sideline. Breaks it and finds a point. Not as exciting as the other points, but a clean point nonetheless. Sometimes it doesn't have to be an exciting point for it to be an effective point. Sometimes you just need to play some good, clean, sound ultimate. Just like that. And you have to remember, it said this is a 90-minute game. So if you want some excitement, please wait up. We've got a, we've got a long game to go. We've got 12 more <laughs> points, more than 12 points of ultimate action happening here in the field in Bacolod for the 2022 PFDA Mixed Nationals. Score is three all. Got some viewers from Singapore. Thank you, Chelai. That's pretty cool. Watching from Subic. We also have people from Subic. Yeah. Yeah. Christian Guerrero with a pull once again. Here is I think Mulato that also makes it nice as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. I just was wanted to mention that it was just brought up to my attention. It's like the spirit in this game is amazing. Um, it's a tight, it's most tight game, but the spirit is just amazing. Everybody's doing their part. Everybody's giving it all, and they're playing very, very well. Oh, oh, there is an injury on the field. Medics. Pitch two. Medic. On pitch two. That is Braille Kimantan again in front of the end zone. But there seems to have been a bad fall on the sunken pressure player. We're gonna see it again what happened exactly. Okay. Oh, it's Ooh. the head. Whoa. It's the head. He's getting a bad up, fall from that from that bit with a whiplash. <laughs> Thank you for your um, support in your service. Wheelchair. <laughs> Which Brian steals from him. <laughs> Tito Brian, that's not for you. That is not for you. <laughs> Unfair advantage, getting some rest. I'm just kidding. All in good fun. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's Meshak de Mayo. 
Just walks it off. Yeah. Unfortunately, he does have to sub out every time that an injury timeout is called. The player that mm -hmm. causes the stoppage of game must is required to sub out. And in retrospect, the, the, the opposing team has the opportunity to sub out the one player from the lineup as well. Ryle at the corner leads it. Antonio Francisco, the greatest! Is the greatest! Receiver. No! no. Christian Guerrero shuts it down. Good heads up play from Christian. SP now with the opportunity to get their first break point for the game. Dog on the field. <laughs> <laughs> there is a call on the field. I think there was some contact, unnecessary contact. This is Bea Martinez with the disc. Swings it. They get the under, they're looking deep. They get the under again. This is Christian Guerrero on the sideline. He's gonna shoot it. He's gonna go for it. Yeah, Martinez! Exactly, that is the first break of the game. SP gets it. They take lead 4-3. And here's that. Here's the. Here's the. Here's the patience, and here's the dis the discipline of SP not getting excited with that break opportunity, taking their time, playing excellent defense on their end zone, treating it as if it was a normal game. Again, execution of getting that block, putting pressure on that pass right at their end zone. And again, sealing that break point. <laughs> again, I, I don't mind these points being 10 minutes long as long as they're as this action back said. <laughs> exactly, we're getting our money's worth for every single second that we're watching here. Felix Tanke with the pull. Sunken pleasure on defense. This glance in. Mulato keeps their O line intact. This is now with Antonio Francisco and the sunken pleasure seems to be enforcing a zone. The two girls. It, it looks top. like a. It looks like some sort of a clam defense where you know we've got one guy and three uh, two girls in the front but then they are playing little man little sticky man more of just clogging and clamming those inside cutting lanes mm -hmm. Also they're giving it a heads the reason, up. Yeah, the, the reason why the reason why Mulato is getting a lot of passes here right now is because some Sunken Pleasure is really just giving out those swing passes. Now with any defense, you have to give something in order to take something. Ping mentioned that they're taking away these forward passes, but in sac as a sacrifice, they have to give away these swings. And in the process of swinging that this, they're finding holes in this defense that's blocked by some pleasure. Mulato, meters away from scoring. And they do just that. Again, these little give-and-go dishes by Mulato, working it down the field. Uh, you know, you get rid of the in, you get rid of the throwing lanes, but then that doesn't stop the handlers from moving anywhere they want. So 
these little give and goes when you poach your mark or you poach your 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 opponent that makes it easy for them to just walk it down the field and that's exactly what mulatto did in that possession The, the Mulatto coming out with four handlers in that point really punishes just those three depend, the defenders on the handler side. They won't be able to stop all of it. That give and go is going to be very hard to stop. Let's see in the next defensive point of SP if they're going to recruit the same strategy or whatever adjustment they will make. Again, it's, it, it's, it's a long game and any long match, it's all about... A it, it's really a game of adjustment. Each I think they were just testing that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I wouldn't blame them because at this point they only have um, one break, so they really want to mix it up in terms of defense. But now it's their offensive line, you know, with the disc. I think the defensive strategy of, I think the defensive strategy of SP in that point was just testing the waters and seeing what they can possibly do to stop Mulatto yep. from scoring. The last couple of points that just been playing hard person-to-person -person defense, I think they wanted to mm -hmm. test out their zone and maybe see if the handlers would make errors. Unfortunately, they did not. So let's see what their defensive line can do after this possession. Yep. And, and I guess in the higher level of play, just because you aren't able to generate a turnover, it's not necessarily a bad defensive point. I would say that was still pretty, pretty decent because they extended play for the offensive line. They got a lot, they give their offensive line a lot more time to rest. That hawk is loud enough though. Land Angeles just off his fingertips. Yeah. Yeah. This Nan Avenia on the sideline, hocking it deep with a backhand. It does not connect, and there seems to be a discussion between JR Panalaya and the Mulatto receiver. Trying to decide if there was a foul on the throw or a foul on the receiving on the receiver. Okay. On the camera is Dana Venya and Pau Peralta. Foul is contested, so that this goes back to Dana Venya. As it is a contested foul, this just goes back down and goes down to two counts, and that's where the start starts. If it was a if it was an uncontested foul, the marker would start at coming in on one. So it looks like they're coming in on stall count three. So minus two to the throw. Mulato again with the disc, with a chance to get a break pass. Moloto with that deep shot. Unfortunately, it does not connect to anybody. Shingo signifying that the disc is going to start in front of him. Again, we got an updated stats from our producer, Glenn. We have now 400 unique viewers from Facebook and 525 unique views from YouTube. Keep it coming, guys. Thank you for joining us in the finals match of Mixed Nationals here in Bacolod. Keep sharing this, guys. Let's try. Let's go for 1,000. And when we get to 1,000, let's go for 2,000 viewers. Like 1,000 YouTube, 1,000 Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Share it to everyone. Send share it to your neighbor. Share it to your mom. <laughs> share it with your dad. It's what? the perfect Father's Day gift. Dad, let's watch the finals. Hold on. Deep shot. No surprise there. That's Lala Cruz. Duncan pressure holds that well contested point. 5 4 for SP.
timeout. Lala Cruz, such a dominant receiver there. Again, um, this game can be won by a single point, just one point uh, said. As we mentioned before, um, both teams are playing exceptionally well, both on offense and on defense. The transitions and the points may be long, but they are so action-packed. It's amazing how these teams are still playing after two days of ultimate, um, intense ultimate action on the fields in Bacolod. Yep, and Mulato not disappointing us in their first appearance so far. Only down one in this game. They're still in it. So keep those cheers and comments coming. We love it. <laughs> On the sideline, we like to thank the organizer and the participants. On the sideline, we see some ropes set up, which is three meters away from play. So observers cannot enter that rope, which is actually a WIFTIF standard, it's good that they are enforcing it here because it gives the disc more space to fly, but then also at the same time it gives more space for our cameramen to get good angles of the action. More, more importantly said, it helps protect the safety of the players on the field. Remember, when you're running at full speed and full momentum, you are going to end up running past the end zone and you know especially with a slippery field like this you might end up hurting somebody a spectator a teammate or an opponent so that three three meter mark or that three meter line is very important for the safety of everybody playing well said ping Experiencing some difficulties, but Antonio Francisco not having any difficulties there. Passing to Brile, who shoots it deep with a backhand OI, and Bulato comes down with it. That's Antonio Francisco. Remember that name because it's not going to be the last time you're going to hear it. A replay of that because that was a crazy point. I think Antonio Francisco was the one that passed it to Brian. How is it that he was also the one that received it at the end zone? I, 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 he teleported again, I'm sure. We're gonna call him the T1000 from the Terminator <laughs> series. He just teleports there, he's indestructible. <laughs> Fortunately, no replay there, but that's all well and good because that will not be the last highlight of this game for sure. So, so again, we're seeing two playing styles from both teams. We're seeing, again, the conventional uh, offensive strategy of Sunken Pleasure where they distribute the flow of the disc to all of its players. But surprisingly enough for Mulato, it's been a Brian and Bulantoy story. It's been a Bra uh, Bulantoy and Brial show for these past two possessions. So I'm very curious to see how long that attrition and that stamina of both these players lasts. Again, we're only 30, little over 30 minutes into this game, and we've got an hour more of ultimate left. Lance Angeles finds Pau Peralta on the under. Swings it to Binoy. Back to Pau Peralta, back to Binoy. They slide. And Lance gets it on and under. They find the break. This is the this is the part where they usually send it long. But no. They continue with these short passes through their girls. Through the open receiver, 
Gabi Rodil in front of the end zone. Waves off Lance Angeles, but gets to him eventually. Experiencing some lag. That's Gabi Rodil. Dumping to Pau Peralta. Sanka Fletcher, very patient with this possession. And again, I think all seven orange shirts have touched that disc at least once. As they score again to make the score 6 5. Lala Cruz once again. Again, another sound and basic and not, uh, I'm saying this not as an offense, another boring offense from Sunken Pleasure where they just move the disc around, they find the open person and they swing it, they keep possession until they find that best opportunity and at that point it was Lala Cruz. It's uh, for for me. Uh, I don't know about you, Ping, but I really love seeing that kind of ultimate. Boring for me is beautiful. Boring ultimate is beautiful. Uh, again, I don't think the boring is the right word that you want to use here. So it's just patient. <laughs> because if if the boring wins you championships, I want to be as boring as I possibly can with my team for the rest of, for the rest of my ultimate career, because it works. It works all the time. Um, you can see the same kind of flow from teams like Revolver, um, Fury, Brute Squad, where they just patiently work the disc down. Again, they'd rather lose 10, 15, 20 yards with a dump swing pass than force a 100-yard turnover. And they still get the win. They still get the point, you know? And if that system works, if it ain't broke, do not fix it, you know? Yep. This is a six-time mixed division championship and you know believe me boring is the wrong word to describe this team. <laughs> Mulato there's Antonio Francisco shooting it deep number 11 has to bid for it it's good what an amazing and again nothing boring about that said um, <laughs> Somebody just made a comment on uh, the YouTube feed. They're calling Bulantoy Lebron Toy. <laughs> oh, man. That's, 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 that's very that's... appropriate for Bulantoy because Lebron, he can play all positions, and that's exactly Bulantoy. He can huck, he can receive, he can defend. There's nothing that he can't do. And just like that, an end zone to end zone. Flick. Amazing. <laughs> if he's not the one scoring, he's the one making the assist. What can Orange do to stop this cyborg from nipping at their toes? Alright, so looking at comments, I think number 11 is Barak. Not the first time we've seen that in the chat, bro. I guess, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but from now on, I'll call number 11, Barak. Let's just call him Obama. <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> We're coming up with nicknames along this finals game. As a disc is with Orange. This is with Lance, swings it over. Back to Lance into the middle. Again, SB patiently working this down. This is with Gabby. Winds it up with an easy score. Binoy. SB 7 6. Binoy the Kumos brings it down with a point. Again, we're starting to see that mid range throw again. And that's the thing if, if you have. I won't, I won't say boring anymore, but if you have sound offense like Sunken Glacier, when you, when you can keep 
um, resetting possession, you'll eventually find those small cracks on the defense. And here we see Binoy Dakumos just jogging towards that disc because he has such a good position at it with that break throw from Lance, Master Lance Angeles, and then Gabi releasing it from the middle of the field. Again, Lance Angeles, um, not a new name in the ultimate scene. This is a new name, though, on the ultimate scene of the Philippines. Uh, so we've got viewers coming as far as Vienna, Austria. So simply Whoa! sigh. Thank you for simply sigh. Simply Sai. Thank you for Sai. Simply Sally. Thank you for watching us all the way in Vienna, Austria. We hope that you are enjoying these finals. The 2022 Philippine Flying Disc Association Mixed National Championships. While Antonio Francisco is walking, to the break mark i just did a quick check of the number of the viewers we are currently at 942 we're close to our 1000 mark guys keep it sh keep sharing it keep telling everyone about this game because it's gonna be one hell of a finals match between sp and mulatto simply sally is the mom of lance oh yeah and uh, we've got also spectators coming from houston texas in the United States watching this final pick is called stoppage of play huh? we also have people watching from Richmond Virginia again thanks everybody for watching these finals help helping us uh, grow the knowledge of ultimate frisbee not just in the Philippines not just in Asia, but all over the world. Thank you for your support. And again, this broadcast would not have been made possible without our friend from Upstream TV. Upstream Sports TV. Upstream Sports TV. Here we have Brile, half of that Brile Bulantoy show. Who finds Barack? We got in Obama the with a point. <laughs> <laughs> no ping, it's gonna be a 3B show. It's Brile, yeah. Bolantoy, and Barak. And Barak. 3B. Little by little, we see. All, we see. Little by little, we see Mulato spreading its reach. Like what we were saying earlier, it was a 1 2 game. We've now identified a big 3 of Mulato working on what it's yep, gonna and, be. Yep, and if you're watching us from YouTube right now, we got some, we got a poll here asking the simple and straightforward question, who you got? Is it Sunken Pleasure or Mulato? So far, 68 votes in. And it's currently 62% vote for, for Sunken Pleasure, 38% vote for Mulato. So SP seems to be the crowd favorite, at least for the YouTube viewers. I'm sure we got Mulato people watching gets a lot from, of love. Yeah. yeah, we've got people watching right now from Kolkata, India. So again, keep oh, feeding this to the people, guys. Keep sharing these videos. We've got this live stream. We're Almost halfway through these games, we've got more than enough time. Seven all with SP on offense. Ooh, a bit low, but Jamakara Egg saves sends it. it deep. Sends it. Pau Peralta, long jump, not yet in. Has to walk back. In that the point, Pinoy comes from behind to get the point. And that Ooh. is half. That is half. Score is now 8-7 in favor of SP. And again, it only took one break point for them to get there. And now they are starting on offense, starting the second half. Giving them a chance to extend their lead. To do. What a save exactly. there by Jamakaraeg. And then after picking up, they go right back to BAU. Back to whatever they do.
with their throws, immediately throwing it without any hesitation. Again, that tenacious and relentless uh, initiative by Jam, you know, even it's, it's hard enough laying out to get the catch. It makes it a lot difficult when you're getting bumped from behind in a money field, getting <laughs> back up, and then bombing it halfway through for the score. It's amazing. It... Now, looking at our viewers, we finally made it, guys. We have more than 1,000 viewers from both YouTube and Facebook. We're close to 1,100. Let's see if we can make it to 1,500. What do you think? 1,500? That's definitely possible I think by, with the number of viewers that we have. Yeah? By, by 90 minutes, I'm guessing. We're, at, we're closing the 45-minute mark. In the next 45 mm. minutes, guys, let's make it 2,000. You know, let's let's double the stakes, double the ante. If we can get down to 2,000 viewers on both Facebook and YouTube, said promises you all free coffee. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'll, I'll deliver you free coffee, but Bing will pay for it. <laughs> we got people watching from Ontario, Canada. Joey Marie de Guzman, thanks for coming down. Thanks for watching. You know, representing. We got people Ultra watching Green from Kukau. <laughs> <laughs> hey, represent. Franco Caballero, shout out to Calveria Ultimate. Yes, Franco, we got you. <laughs> got Miro Hill again. There's a hook. Once again, JR Panolaya wide open in the end zone. There it is. That's oh an point lead that we were talking about. The sunken and pleasure. there, yeah. So that break point yeah. is like the stab. You know what I mean? Said like they, they, you've just gotten stabbed with that break point, and that next point is just twisting the knife.